In this video, we'll be talking about the technical skills that are required for cybersecurity and where you can learn them. As cybersecurity is such a big field, it's hard to know which skills as a beginner are required for the job or to even just get hired. In the first half of the video, we'll talk about the skills in detail, and in the second half, we'll look at specific resources that you can use for free to learn these skills. Everything is timestamped down below, so if you need to skip to a specific one, you can do so. We'll start off with Python. You may have already used Python or you're not familiar with it at all. Well, Python is regarded as one of the most valuable programming languages in the field of cybersecurity. It's mainly used for automation and scripting. Python's syntax is clear and it's concise. Therefore, it makes it an excellent choice for scripting and automating tasks. In cybersecurity, however, automation can be a crucial task for using it in things like scanning, enumeration and data analysis. So it makes it a really, really great tool. Another reason why it's so highly regarded is because of its versatility. It's a versatile language that can be used across various domains within cyber. So whether you're working on network security, web application security, or even pen testing, Python has libraries and frameworks to support all of these areas, which is why it makes it so great. And the final point is its integration with other security tools. Many security tools out there and frameworks are either built with or support Python. For example, Metasploit Framework, which is a popular penetration testing tool. So looking at these three advantages of using Python, you can see why it would be such a great skill to learn for getting into cybersecurity. Now, that's not me saying that this is the only programming language you should know for cybersecurity. I'm just saying it's probably one of the most important. So if you only want to learn one, I would go down the route of Python. However, if you have the time and you have the knowledge capacity, then I would recommend a few others as well. So if you're interested, leave a comment down below. The next skill we'll be talking about is operating systems. I'll assume that you've heard of OSs like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So we'll jump straight into why this is an important skill to learn. The first and biggest reason is because you need to understand system architecture. Operating systems serve as a foundation for computing environments. So learning how Windows and Linux are designed and including their architecture and kernel structures helps a cybersecurity professional gain deep understanding of the underlying systems that they're securing. You can't go about securing a system if you don't know how at root these systems work. Next, we then have security configuration and hardening. Knowledge of operating systems allows cybersecurity experts to configure and harden systems effectively. So that includes things like knowing how to set up user accounts, manage permissions, configure firewalls and implement security policies. So you can see the route that we're going down here is really understanding these things at deep level. You need to know how to configure these things in the first place before you look at securing them. The final point we then have is instant response and forensics. So when an actual security incident occurs, like a breach or a compromise, understanding the intricacies of the underlying operating system is vital for effective incident response and digital forensics, because this knowledge will help you in analysing system logs, identifying malicious activities and conducting forensic investigation. Because when we look at things like penetration testing, cybersecurity experts will often engage in this to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in those specific systems. So knowing the ins and outs of both Windows and Linux, for example, allows them to simulate real world attacks and actually assess the security posture of a system that they're testing. So that deep rooted knowledge is very essential. You can see that was the overall theme of why operating systems knowledge is very important. That leads us on to our final technical skill, which is networking. The first reason that we have here for why this is important is attack surface and understanding. So knowing how networks are structured helps a professional identify and comprehend the potential attack surface. This includes things like understanding network topologies, devices, protocols, which are all crucial for recognizing vulnerabilities and potential points of entry for attackers. For example, if you have an incident and you don't understand the network topology, how are you going to conduct root cause analysis to determine how the attacker initially gained access. So it's really important that you understand this key skill at the beginning. The next point we then have is threat detection. So proficiency in networking allows a security analyst 
to detect abnormal patterns or behaviors within a network traffic. So anomalies such as unusual data flows or unexpected connections or even just irregularities in network protocols might indicate a security incident. So it's really crucial that you understand the networking as you will be able to identify potential compromises. Even when you're just analyzing the data, you need to know exactly what you're looking at. The final point is then secure network design. So as a cybersecurity professional, you'll probably need to design and or implement security network architectures. It might not be your sole responsibility, but you will have some overview of it. So therefore, knowledge of networking principles is vital for creating robust segmented networks where you can implement things like secure zones and ensuring that data flows are controlled to minimize attack opportunities. So a really key skill you can see by three points that we've just given. And if you're not sure where you can gain this knowledge, then we can now move on to our resources. The first resource that I have for you is Professor Messer, who's a great YouTuber and has some of the best content for networking study videos. So if you're interested in learning about networking, you can look at this content. It will be linked in the description below. Now, this is for the CompTIA exam. However, it's really good and it's free for you to go through where you can learn the knowledge that you need. And obviously, you don't need to sit the exam, but it is obviously a benefit if you can get a certification out of it. So if that's something you're interested in, do click the link. It covers all sorts of topics from networking all the way through to wireless networking and network operations. As we talked about operating systems, we also have a Linux fundamentals course here on Hack the Box, which is an online platform that's designed to offer more of a hands-on practical learning experience rather than what you normally see in the sense of just watching videos or note taking. So if you want to switch up your learning, I would definitely head to Hack the Box. The link will be in the description. You can see in the Linux fundamentals course that they have here, it covers it in a large amount of depth. You can see the summary of what you'll cover and the different sections you'll go through from different filter contents, regular expressions, user management, package management, all the way through to network services, backup and restore activity. So I really recommend you check that one out. The final one we then have is introduction to Python 3, also on Hack the Box. You can see an in-depth course here and it's been rated very highly by all other users who've used it and it's very beginner friendly. In the summary, you can see it goes through defining functions, making code classy, all the way through to first iterations and further improvements. If you found this video useful and you've gained some information or you just want to know more about technical skills, do hit the subscribe button and also join our Discord community where we give lots of hints and tips for people looking to get into cyber. We're nearly a thousand members now, so feel free to join. You don't have to say anything. You can just join and passively watch everything that we're posting. If you enjoyed the video, do also leave a like. It massively helps the channel out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content. Do let me know if you've already got these skills or if you're looking to get more into depth of the skills that I've already mentioned.